Hello you guys, Liliana from Vanilla and Ganella here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Guess what? It's Saturday. Guess where I've just been? Shopping. Feels like I've just recorded a video like that for you guys. I'm gonna try and do it a little bit more. I don't know. Let's see where this goes, eh? So I've just been shopping. I did not need loads. Still managed to spend 100 euros. Let me show you everything I got. Okay, so as usual, I went to the posh supermarket and the more little type of supermarket. Let me just show you what I got in the posh place. I got these Crunchy Valley bars that my boys love. I also got coffee, which is the only place I can get it. In there, I also got this. Both Alex and Ozzy absolutely love this. I bought some last week. I haven't seen any of it. Um, I also got, so Alex loves this. It's um, lychee juice with nata de coco. So there's bits inside, if you can see. I think it's really sweet. He loves it. So maybe once a month, I'll buy him a bottle. It's like two euros, so it's not cheap. But as a little treat for him and he loves it. Um, and Paul likes these aloe vera drinks. I didn't like it last time. I got him one with pineapple flavor. But these are very, very popular here. So yeah, I'll pop those in the fridge for them. And then from the other supermarket, I got some bananas. Now you guys see how they all come in these bags. These bags can be used in our compost bin. Look, I've got another one here. I'll show you what I've got in here, but it actually says okay to compost. So I use them as the little liners for our compost bin. So they're not wasted. So bananas, I got Coke. I also got this, I have never tried that. Mandarino Verde de Sicilia. So that's green mandarin from Sicily juice. You know, like fizzy pop, I think. I got some of that. I got some vegetable stock already made. Here I got peaches. Um, I also got some of this Cruisley. Why it's called Cruisley? It's the Quaker brand. So is it? It looks very much like granola. Um, yeah, I just thought. So I don't want Ozzy and Alex to associate this packaging to the only granola they'll eat, you know, because Ozzy particularly is very, like he recognizes the color of these granola bars. And if you try and give him a different granola bar, he won't accept it. So anyway, so I want to have options. So if I cannot find that in the supermarket, I can give him something else. So yeah, eggs, got zucchini and carrots in also here. Got some dishwasher tablets some of this chocolate and I picked up this. So in the the little type of supermarket, they literally have the middle aisle with offers. So I bought this for three euros. Now you guys, I don't have a weighing a scales because usually I use my Thermomix that has scales. So I just put stuff in there, but because of the lack of plugs, um, and counter space, that's where the Thermomix lives. So for me to weigh something, I'd, I have to take it out, put it on the counter, move whatever other stuff is on the counter to do it. So I just thought, yeah, for three euros, you have to put batteries in, but let me just buy that. That's handy to have. I got another thing of milk. You guys know, I told you last week that only Alex really uses the milk and basically, he used one so i bought two last week so i just get i keep one in stock always got two bottles of fizzy water the other one i'm drinking in is somewhere just love a bit of fizzy water this one is not particularly great it's just i've had better anyway two creams um you know like single cream type of stuff for cooking got a little packet of rubbish bags got some pasta i prefer the smaller type of pasta i say smaller this is really small and then i got these farfalini these would be great in soup this one 
Yeah, I also got this on a whim because I grew up watching Snoopy. Let me know in the comments if you did too, or if you remember this. And um, yeah, I just thought this is like a little bag. I thought this might be handy to have in Aussie's nursery bag, you know, as um, either a wet bag or to carry some snacks or whatever. I just liked it. It was $5.99. I think it has marshmallows inside. So Alex will have the marshmallows. I'll show this to Alex and he'll be like, oh, I say, oh, I got this for you. He'll be like, oh, that's really babyish. So he doesn't like anything like that. Nappies. I also got uh, a panini there and the hot dogs because my family love those. I got, I've been searching high and low for this anti um, mold, you know, like spray because there's some upstairs in one of the balconies. I could not find it anywhere. Finally found this at the posh supermarket. That cost me $8.99 for this. $8.99. I'm like sick. Um, got those as well. These are for Paul and Alex. So Paul is doing early shift next week. So he just wants to get up as late as possible and have breakfast on the go. So he'll just take some, go to work. They're like little breads with um, chocolate inside. Got some of this. Bruschetta con olio di oliva massive you guys i tried these the other week and i thought they were so nice so got some of those got hot dog buns because i got some hot dogs some uh bread sliced bread toilet paper a couple of things of crisps we haven't even opened um the bag that i got last week but sometimes you can't find them at the supermarket so just got another one and I got these for Paul, the barbecue. They look pretty nice. Home, I put stuff straight in the fridge and the freezer. So I'm going to put all of this away and then I'll show you what I got. Oh, but first, let me show you what's Sorry, in this bag. So in this bag, I went looking for some numbers to put outside and the ER bins, but I couldn't find it. In the end, I ended up buying a load of stuff. Bought this for four euros. I, it's a pet blanket. I thought this was a really cute one. You can see a little pet blanket so i'm going to a welcome breakfast um in our community um it's like international so get a chance to meet loads of new people and um so it's you you go for breakfast you pay for i think we're paying like five euros to have a full breakfast amazing get a chance to mingle but they also do stuff for charity and this time they're doing for dogs and they have a list of things they want they wanted blankets and they wanted food so i forgot to pick up the food but i'll probably get a little pack of dog food it's just dogs that they're doing at the moment um but i so i saw this little blanket and i thought that's really sweet i get that i also got one of these you guys know like you move them and the the hands slap together for aussie um, as well some frogs these are more for alex he'll be like Ugh, mom these are so like frogs like they're toys but the reality is he will play with these i think i think these are really cool these were three euros i also got some tissue paper and a couple of presents and i'll tell you why in a second this is like a little present box and another little sparkly present bag there you go and the reason why is guys next weekend paul's parents will arrive they're going to stay with us for a week i cannot wait to see them and we have some presents for them because they've had birthdays you know since we've been here and we said oh we'll we'll wait until you come so for paul's mum and dad i don't want to tell you what i got them i'll maybe show you later i don't think they really watch the videos but yeah anyway Let's continue. This is what I got. That's for the fridge. Got some sausages. These look amazing. They were four euros forty-four. I also got some mince. This was from the expensive supermarket, and this was from the little type of supermarket. Um, I showed you the eggs earlier, but I got some pineapple. The machine. Usually, I get the batons. The machine wasn't working, so the guy said to me, "It's fine. Uh, we can do it in the bag." So. 
yeah you just cut it for me um i got some mozzarella this was actually from my local spa i just stopped on my way home got some yogurts got some grana padano here and some chichi di patata these are like baby gnocchi they're fresh but there's two packets which is quite good this was like 150 and i got two things of hot dogs these are insanely good and they were 59p each they were on offer so i got two yeah that was it Hello everyone, it's Monday morning, it's about half nine, I'm about to make a coffee, I need it. Alex has gone to school, Ozzy's here with me today, doesn't go to nursery on Mondays, and um, yeah, I've just been online. So my friend Lizzie had a baby boy um, this weekend, congratulations Lizzie, and I'm looking to find her a present. I'm decide, trying to decide whether to buy it on a UK website and get it delivered straight to her house or to send her something from here. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I think this week what I might do is have a look to see if I can see anything that I think she would like. Um, but if I can't, I'll, I'll just, you know, go online. I've already spent like an hour just looking at so much stuff. I really like Next, you guys know. Next um, always has nice quality stuff, I think. Um, so I could always do that. But anyway, Lizzie, congratulations. I know she watches my video, so congrats. And um, let's make a coffee. I was just looking at my shelves while I was making coffee and thinking just how much I enjoy them. You don't get to see it very often because usually I prop you there facing this way. Um, so I'm, you know, by the fridge. But um, yeah, I just love them. I love how useful they are. I have lots of things at hand that I can use. Storage, not as pretty this bit, but that two top, even that, you know, everything's really useful, but I've put things that I love at the top as and well. Not, and I'm not even going to lie, I cannot wait to decorate mm. for autumn. I'm getting my itchy feet. It's a hard one because it's so, still so stinking hot outside, it's like 30 in the afternoon. But I'm getting like that. Get the pumpkins out, my mugs. And a part of me is like, oh, don't I have like a pumpkin glass thing? I'm sure I got that last year with Lizzie. Have I got that or not? You know, I'm just trying to, to think of all the beautiful stuff that I have that I cannot wait. But like I mentioned earlier in this video, my in-laws are coming at the end of this week. So the name of the game this week is clean up, stock up on food, you know, and get ready for their visit. I also have a lot of admin to do. If you ever get posted um, or get, you know, abroad like I, like we have, the paperwork, you guys. We've been here like seven months. The paperwork is an ongoing thing. So I'm going to try and do some of that. Paul's on earlies this week, which means he should be home about one half one. I want to try and get to the American base this week and just get a few bits and bobs there that I need and see if they have their um, autumn stuff out because, so is it the BX? So the commissary is the food. The BX is more like a little, um, what can I explain? Like a John Lewis, a department store-ish, you know? Um, so they, they, I have the vibes that they get holiday stuff you know they had stuff for the fourth of july not very much for summer but then it's a bit random isn't it so i cannot wait to see the pumpkins and for the christmas stuff as well 
But yeah, I also get the vibe that in Italy, if it's anything like Portugal here, Christmas starts a lot later, whilst already at the next, uh, on the next website, I noticed they had Christmas stuff out. I might check out next Italy. Anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee and um, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. So here's what I got my mother-in-law. I got her this sort of basket bag. Um, she prefers smaller handbags and it has like a strap as well. Got her that. And I also got her this beautiful scarf. And for my father-in-law, we got him some um, um, cufflinks, local cufflinks kind of thing. So I don't even know where they are right now. I need to find them and a pen, little bits like that. 